Hey, Preston, I'm going to have you kick uh, kick things off with Groundhog Let today. Let's do this. kick it. Let's talk about our boy, Phil, the Groundhog. That's right. Keep those hat and mittens out. Unfortunately, no, we're not even talking about Phil. We're talking about Jimmy. Jimmy Both. the Groundhog from Sun Prairie and Phil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, look at me. I should just read ahead. And Puxatawney Phil, they predicted six more weeks of winter, the both of them together. Well, they can't be wrong. <laughs> you agree? No way that they're wrong about that? How accurate, though? I like this graphic here we got. Uh, it, it says, how accurate is the groundhog forecast? While some may think that the groundhog is accurate, local climate statistics show otherwise. So average temperatures for the remainder of the astronomical winter in La Crosse, Wisconsin. You see here, no shadow. Mm, looks like uh, above normal 19 times, below not normal 22 times. If, you, if there is a shadow, 20 times above normal, 18 times. So what I'm saying here, it's, it's basically a flip of a coin. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I like, so whenever he says, oh, hey, summer, spring's coming early, I like to go, he's always right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then if he says, it's going to be more winter, I'm like, it's just like a flip of a coin. <laughs> so I like your thinking here. It's just a flip of a coin in this case, ladies and gentlemen. But still, keep those hats and mittens. Fantastic. All right, uh, Fitrona EMS getting out and getting people signed up for File for Life. We had a camera crew go out, catch up with two paramedics, uh, helping get people signed up for this great, great program. Today we are out in the community with, as part of the community paramedic program promoting the file of life at senior independent housing facilities. Um, the purpose of the file of life is to benefit public service um, when we come into your apartment to identify who you are, medical conditions, uh, emergency contacts, medications you're taking, and also any do not resuscitate order wishes that you have. The form is front and back and we're here to either assist filling them out for people or having them fill them out themselves but it has their name, address, what hospital they prefer to go to, um, their emergency contacts in case we need to get a hold of someone while we're on scene, uh, medications that they're taking, birthday is important to us, um, on the other side any recent surgeries because that might be related to the complaint that they're having of the day. Um, if they have any advanced directives or do not resuscitate orders, those are very relevant to us to respect their wishes if that were the case, if they did go into a cardiac arrest. Um, th this area is for any medical conditions they have. This is for any allergies that they have. The medical insurance is just part of the standard form. We're not very concerned with that. If we need that, we get that from the patient or the hospital. But once this is filled out, it folds up tri-folds and it goes into this packet and there's a magnet on the back and people hang it on the outside of their refrigerator so when we go into an apartment we look for this and if they're unable to give us this information we have it at our fingertips we also highly encourage um, residents to put in medication lists um, any of their advanced directives any of their um, wishes just anything that they think that's pertinent to us when we show up, we'll look for it and it'll all be right here and easy to find. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about this weekend and the old weather. That's, that's right. what kept popping up. The snow wanted to just start falling already. <laughs> what do they know? See? What do they Phil, know? Phil and Jimmy, they called that snow's coming back <laughs> right now. So take a look. Snow is anticipated this weekend with several inches of accumulation possible. So, of course, you're going to want to keep up to date on this if you are planning any travel plans. Maybe you're going to a Super Bowl party somewhere. Uh, you might want to keep this in mind. Uh, yeah, so just be ready for it. Mostly Saturday uh, in the afternoon into the early morning on Sunday. It so sounds like, like Saturday night into Sunday is like the heaviest yeah. from what I've heard from different forecasts. But what do we always tell you? Check the forecast frequently. That yep. way you know uh, up to date what's happening. But You've been warned there could be some accumulating snow. And as you remember, this guy wants to use a snowblower. So let it snow. There you go. <laughs> let it snow. There you go. There you go, indeed. All right, how about SimCom exercise notification? I'm telling you about this right now. Hey, what is that? Next week, uh, February 7th and 8th, the city of Fitchburg will be hosting communication exercise that involves multiple state and federal emergency response agencies. The exercise, the exercise, folks, is intended to train personnel on interoperability during a large-scale uh, escalating event. So 
During this military uh, or during this exercise, military, state, and municipal equipment will be used in McKee, uh, in the McKee and McGaw Parks area. Helicopters will likely be used for some scenarios and will be visible throughout the area. Also, lower flying aircraft will be seen in the area of fire station number one on Lacey Road. If you got any questions, comments, you can contact Chief Fire Chief Joe Polvamacher. The number is on your screen, but uh, this is going to be, it's going to look like something's happening, but really right. it's great training for any future possible events. So don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. All right. True statement. Sounds good. All right. Let's flip over to the police department. Hey, oh, it's 8 p.m. Do you know where your keys are? This is a graphic from their Facebook page. Uh, I like this little graphic. It's a good reminder to lock your car, take your keys every time, and never leave your keys in your vehicle. Um, we talked about a whole bunch on the show this year. There's kind of an uptick in vehicle thefts. So protect yourself, protect your vehicle, and the community by taking your keys with you every single time. So just a good reminder at night, 8 p.m. rolls around, just say, hey, do I have my keys on me? If you don't, you should go get them. If Beautiful. you do, good job. Pat on the back. <laughs> Indeed. All right, last but not least uh, for your headlines today, the Promega 2018 Spring Art Showcase. It returns. That's yes. right. Yes. <laughs> uh, and it's from Pulp to Prince, yeah. the art of paper making and collaboration. I like this. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so uh, Promega Spring Art Show uh, is, uh, is showcasing art of handmade paper pieces from artists Bill and Bruce, who uh, have uh, collaborated in the art of paper making and printing for the past 25 years. That's a quarter century. <laughs> artists will tell their stories of their creative process and the inspiration behind their work during a symposium on Tuesday, March 13th. That kicks off at 3.30 p.m., followed by the reception, the famous hmm. reception from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. at Promega Biopharmaceutical Technology Center, 5445 East Cheryl Parkway, right here in beloved Fitchburg. Hmm. Stop on by. And you should know, too, I saw this when I was putting this together. Mm -hmm. Promega celebrating 40 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So stop on by. We'll be covering this event, of course. It would be cool, you know, if at the beginning of their collaboration 25 years ago, they planted a tree. Oh. Right? And it grew up. And yeah. Then that would have been amazing. Hopefully they did it. If they didn't, hey, that was a great idea. Should have done it. You, you heard Do it Do it here. now. Then it, when it, after 50 years of working together. Bravo, there you go. Bravo. I'm proud. That's a good idea. All right. 